We welcome everyone to this December 20th, 2022 meeting of the Corsicana ISD Board of Trustees. This is a special meeting, I guess. Yes, it is. And all items that will, that will be discussed have been duly posted. While this is a meeting in public, it's not a meeting of the public. If you wish to speak, please register in the lobby on the audience for guest forms and follow the information on the speaker form. The board's role is to set goals, approve personnel and budgets, make policy and provide oversight. We are not here to manage or solve individual problems. Management is a responsibility of the superintendent. As a board, we believe what we must educate every child, provide every child the greatest opportunity to learn, and maintain a safe and secure environment mentally, physically, emotionally, and academically. These are our core values and we appreciate your interest in the students of CISD. Okay, we will move right along then to audience for guests. Audience for guests. No audience for guests. Okay. Start right here. We will now go into closed session for the purpose of consulting with our legal counsel regarding the proposed reinvestment zone, the application, and the proposed agreement for limitation on approved ta appraised tax value with Pitsky Ridge Solar 2 LLC and to deliberate regarding the same pursuant to Texas Government Code sections 551.071, 551.087, and 551.129. This time is 11.05 a.m. Do we need to go into closed Do we need session? Mr. President, I'll say we don't go into closed session since we've already discussed this in length several times. Okay. And you can dispense with closed session through yep. unanimous consent. So All right. We are now at a closed session. At our meeting on December 5th, 2022, the board held a public hearing concerning the possible adoption of criteria and guidelines for the creation of the reinvestment zones and for the possible designation of the Pitsky Ridge Solar L. Two LLC reinvestment by resolution. Our appraisal district and the local taxing entities were given timely notice and the proper notice of the public hearing was published in the newspaper. No one spoke at the public hearing concerning reinvestment zones on December 5th, 2022. We adopted criteria and guidelines that night and we agreed that they would apply to our possible consideration of future reinvestment zones. Having Previously held a public hearing and adopted criteria and guidelines, we are now ready to take up item 4A on our agenda, which is consideration and possible action to adopt a resolution creating Pitsky Ridge Solar 2 LLC reinvestment zones. Are there any questions for Mr. Clark? And do I have a motion and a, and a second regarding designation? I move to designate the Pisky Ridge Solar 2 LLC reinvestment zone by way of the resolution as presented. I further move to authorize the board president or his designee to execute the resolution on behalf of the board and that a complete copy of the resolution be included in the official minutes for this meeting. Is there a second? Second. I have a motion and a second to designate the Pisky Ridge Solar 2 LLC reinvestment zone by the way of the resolution as presented. Uh, and and you've authorized me or a designee to execute the resolution on behalf of the board and that a complete copy of the resolution be included in the official minutes of this meeting. All those opposed say aye. All those for say aye. Aye. All those opposed say no. The ayes have it. And we will designate the Pitsky Ridge Solar 2 LLC reinvestment zone. All right. We're moving on to item 4C. This is a public hearing to receive input from the public regarding the possible approval of the application and agreement for the value limitation agreement with Pitsky Ridge Solar 2 LLC. The purpose of this hearing is to allow any interested party to offer comments or present their views regarding possible approval of the application of or proposed agreement with Pitsky Ridge Solar 2 LLC. At this time, are there any speakers who wish to comment on or present an argument for or against the application of and proposed agreement with Pitsky Ridge Solar 2 LLC. Yes, I believe we do have some in the audience. Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Eric Williams of Ernst & Young, and uh, we represent uh, um, Duke Energy and Pisco Ridge, uh, Pisco Ridge Project. We want to thank you for your time today. Uh, certainly, this has been a long time coming, uh, um, and we know, given the holiday season and everything, and certainly the expiration of the uh, Chapter 313 program, we do appreciate your, your time and consideration of this. Um, I've got uh, Jeff and Lee. 
with, uh, with the project who would like to give an update? Sure. Um, yeah, thank you again. I'm Jeff Neves um, with Duke Energy, um, overseeing the Pisky Ridge uh, project. Um, again, we really appreciate y'all's time and consideration and support for these projects. Um, I wanted to just kind of give an update on uh, Pisky 2 and then also the construction project, the first phase. Um, so we, we are moving forward with a lot of the development work on the second phase. Um, we've got a lot of good landowner support, um, coordinating with the, the county precinct commissioner, coordinating with the city of Richland about the, the layout. Um, we're reaching some milestones on the, the second phase um, where we're actually about to execute the interconnect agreements. Um, <coughs> excuse me. That's a pretty critical part of the process to tie into the transmission systems. Um, we, we also have been working to um, market, you know, the electricity um, and are uh, making a lot of progress there. Um, we've been shortlisted in some um, um, RFPs. And uh, so, so overall, the, this project is, is moving forward, but um, certainly uh, very much appreciate y'all's continued support um, to make you know this the second phase uh, a reality, and um, we're really excited about you know continuing to have a presence in in the community, um, and then we're very excited about the first phase. Um, you know, construction has been ongoing <coughs> all throughout this this year. Um, you know, at one point we had up close to 400 people, 400 construction jobs. Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of uh, effort to, to build one of these projects. Um, you know, each, each panel uh, itself has to have four uh, folks, four construction members um, do the installation. So you can imagine on this size project that that's a lot of, uh, lot, lot of folks in the field working really hard to put everything together. Uh, but we are close to commissioning uh, completion on the whole array, so we still anticipate going to commercial operations any day now. So, you know, definitely by the end of this month. Um, but we're very excited and, again, just really appreciative of all the support. And Duke looks forward to, you know, being a, a member of the community for a long time. So just wanted to thank you all. And uh, if you all have any questions, happy to answer any questions. Any questions? All right, well, thank you very much for coming. Great, thank you, and I believe uh, you'll have uh, another financial update or financial impact on, on the actual economics and the abatement incentive program. But thank you very much. All interested parties have had an opportunity to speak for or against the application of and a proposed agreement with Pitsky Ridge Solar 2 LLC, and we are ready to move on to our next agenda item. The next item is 4C, to consider and take possible action to make findings associated with application and, a pr and proposed agreement for tax value limitation with Pitsky Ridge Solar 2 LLC as required by Texas Tax Code Chapter 313. Board members, you have a copy of the proposed findings in your packets and we've had our chance to review. Dr. Frost, will you please read the proposed findings aloud for our audience? I will be glad to. And just so you can um, pace yourselves, it's 23 findings. So here we go. Findings as to each of the criteria listed in Texas Tax Code Section 313.025 and Texas Administrative Code Title 34, Section 9.1054. Based in the representation of the of applicants set out Based in the representation of applicants set out in the application attached as Exhibit A, the Comptroller's Approval and Economic Impact Analysis attached as Exhibit B, the District Consultant's Independent Economic Impact Analysis attached as Exhibit C, and the Franchise Tax Account Status attached as Exhibit E, the Board of Trustees finds, number one, that the Comptroller recommends approval of the application. Number two, that there is a strong and positive relationship between the applicant's industry and the types of qualifying jobs to be created by the applicant and the long-term economic growth plans of the state. Number three, that based on the representations in the application, the applicant could relocate, could locate or relocate the project to another state or another region of this state. 
four, that the project will result in revenue gains by the school district and that the economic effects on the local and regional tax base are that the tax base will increase as a result of the project and additional employment. Five, that there exists a small but undetermined possibility that the project could have an impact on enrollment from families that might temporarily <coughs> that might temporarily relocate during the construction phase, but that any impact during the operations phase could be absorbed by current facilities. Six, that the projected market value of the qualified property of the applicant as determined by the comptroller is $98,465,978. Seven, that the that the proposed limitation on appraised value for qualified property of the applicant is $30 million. Eight, that the projected dollar amount of district maintenance and operation taxes that would be imposed on the qualified property for each year of the agreement if the property does not receive a limitation on appraised value is $5,774,463 as shown on Exhibit B, Attachment A, Table 3. Nine, that the projected dollar amount of the taxes that would be imposed on the qualified property for each tax of the agreement if the property receives a limitation on appraised value is $3,562,618 as shown on Exhibit B, Attachment A, Table 4. Ten, that the total, total amount of taxes projected to be lost or gained by the district over the life of the agreement computed by subtracting the projected taxes if the property receives a tax limitation from the projected taxes if the property does not receive a tax limitation is $2,211,845 as shown on Exhibit B, Attachment A, Table 4. 11. The applicant is eligible for limitation on the appraised value of the applicant's qualified property. Applicant's qualified property is eligible for a limitation on appraised value under Texas Tax Code Section 313.025 as a renewable energy electric generation project. 12. The project proposed by the applicant is reasonably likely to generate tax revenue in an amount sufficient to offset the school district maintenance and operations ad valorem tax revenue lost as a result of the agreement before the 25th anniversary of the beginning of the limitation period. 13. The limitation of appraised value is, is a determining factor in the applicant's decision to invest capital in construction and construct the project in this state. 14. The job creation required of 10 new jobs exceeds the industry standard for the number of employees reasonably necessary for the operation of the project described in the applicant application. Pursuant to Texas Tax Code Section 313.025F1, the board waives the new job creation requirement in Tax Code Section 313.051B. 15. Applicant will create one new qualifying job, and applicant has confirmed that such job will meet all the requirements of Texas Tax Code Section 313.0213. 16. That the project will be located within an area designated as a reinvestment zone pursuant to Texas Tax Code Chapter 312. 17. The information in the application submitted by applicant is true and correct. 18. The proposed agreement for limitation on appraised value of property for school district maintenance and operations taxes agreement attached here to, to exi as Exhibit D meets all of the requirements set out in Texas Tax Code Section 313.027, including adequate and appropriate revenue protection provisions for the district. 19. The proposed agreement is in the form of the template Texas Economic Development Act Agreement adopted by the Comptroller as of October 2020, and the Comptroller has verified that the agreement complies with the provisions of Chapter 313 of the Texas Tax Code and 34 Texas Administrative Code Chapter 9, Subchapter F. 20. Considering the purpose and effect of the law and the terms of the agreement granting the application and entering the agreement are in the best interest of the district and the state. 21. The applicant, Pisgah Ridge Solar 2, LLC, Texas Taxpayer ID number 3208461214, is an entity subject to Chapter 171, Texas Tax Code, and is certified to be in good standing with the Texas Comptroller of Public Accounts. A copy of the Comptroller's Franchise Tax Account status is attached as Exhibit E. 22. There are no conflicts of interest on the Board at the time of its, of its consideration of the agreement. 23. It is hereby found, determined, and declared that sufficient written notice of the date, time, place, and subject of the meeting of the Board of Trustees at which these findings were made was posted at a place convenient and readily, readily accessible at all times to the general public for the time required by law preceding this meeting as required by Chapter 551 Texas Government Code and that this meeting has been open to the public 
as required by law at all times during which these findings were made and the subject matter thereof has been discussed, considered, and formally acted upon. The Board of Trustees further ratifies, approves, and confirms such written notice and posting thereof. That's it. Trust, trustees, please take special note of finding number 22 regarding conflict of interest. Any trustee with a conflict or potential conflict of interest should identify the conflict at this time. Any such trustee should abstain from any vote on the findings of agreement. I just have one comment, I, and I should have said something when he was up. I just want to make sure, I just wanted to tell the Pisky Ridge Project um, because, you know, we're all about our young people. And I want our young people, um, let me back up. I went to our GT uh, presentation a couple of days ago, and our young people are, like, awesome. And so with these projects like this Pisky Ridge, you know, the solar and all that, I want our young people to really understand projects like this. And so that I would hope that um, your company, the company, will come into our education you know, environment and teach our young people about these projects. Because they are the future. We know that these kind of projects are probably going to happen all over the world. And so I want our young people to understand, you know, the, you know that, change, that things are happening, things are evolving with stuff, projects like this. And so especially for small town communities like, you know, Richland, you know, Corsicana, the surrounding counties or whatever, the surrounding communities. And so if you can just make sure that your company comes in and talk to our young people about what, what, what your project is about, you know, what your company is about, so that they can understand, you know, why things are happening the way they're happening, you know. And so that is my, uh, that's my, uh, my comment I wanted to make about, you know, this. Because, you know, we're, we're, re we're, you know, we're reading all this stuff and all that, you know, proving all this stuff, and I'm like, but our young people, they're going to be the ones that's going to probably really see the evidence, you know, as far as, you know, that. And so I just want to make sure that y'all just don't, build stuff and not be connected to our young people because they're going to be replacing y'all yes, you know so that's why i'm saying y'all please please um, get involved in our education and let, so that they can understand these type of projects thank sure. you yeah it's okay I can, yeah. yes ma'am no we, we uh that's that's definitely one of the parts of the operational side of the projects that we really do all enjoy is being able to work with the community um you know do field trips um my wife is a fourth grade teacher, so she pulls me in all the time mm -hmm. to do presentations. Um, and it is really exciting because a lot of kids, they want to learn about, you know, solar energy, all kinds of renewable energy. Um, and it is, it's, you know, it's becoming such a new growing field and so many kids are interested in, you know, becoming engineers, becoming developers. And um, so that, that is something that we always work to, to coordinate and um, you know, make ourselves available. They just made make the fusion. sites available for visits. They just um, made a fusion and, generator. You know, in, in an area where you see a lot of projects develop, there's also a lot of opportunities for you know, training and kids to learn you know, how, how, to, how these projects come together, how to get you know, jobs and action that it so, um, no, we, we really uh, understand and appreciate that. And, um, we look forward to to being a part of you know, the educational community too. So thank you. Okay. Thank you. Do I have a motion and a second? I move to adopt the findings on the tax value limitation application submitted by Fiskey Ridge Solar Two LLC as presented, and to authorize the board president or his designee to ex execute the findings on behalf of the board. I further move we include a complete copy of the findings in the final minutes of this meeting. Is there a second? Second. All right, I've got a motion to adopt the findings of the tax value limitation application submitted by Pitsky Ridge Solar to LLC as presented and to authorize myself or a designee to execute the findings on behalf of the board. I further, it's been also moved that we include a complete copy of the findings in the final minutes for this meeting. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say no. Ayes have it. And we have a adopted the findings of the tax value limitations for, submitted by Pitsky Ridge to Solar LLC and we will include a copy of the findings in the final minutes. Having approved the findings we will now 
move to item 4D and consider taking possible action to approve the tax value limitation agreement with Pitsky Ridge Solar 2 LLC. Does a representative from Pitsky Ridge Solar 2 LLC wish to speak at this time? No. Okay. Is there a motion or a second? Yes. I move to approve the proposed tax limitation with Pisky Ridge Solar 2 LLC as presented and to authorize the board president or his designee to execute the agreement on behalf of the board. Is there a second? I second. Thank you. All right. We, we have a motion to approve the proposed tax limitation with the Pisky Ridge Solar 2 LLC as presented and authorize myself or a designee to execute the agreement on behalf of the board. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say no. Ayes have it, and we have approved the tax value limitation with Pitsky Ridge Solar 2 LLC. All right. Now we have adjourned this meeting. <laughs>